Hello friends and welcome to study tonight. If you are confused about what JavaScript is, this video will clear all your doubts. JavaScript is a scripting language that is used to make websites interactive and dynamic. When I say interactive, a user can interact in many ways with a website or web application, like clicking on some link, some button, moving the mouse around, hovering on some image, input value in form, etc. Using JavaScript, we can execute code to perform some action on these user interactions. For example, change color of HTML element on mouse click or validate the input provided by the user in any HTML form. Or maybe perform an action when user uses the keyboard to type in something etc. These user interactions generate events like click event when user clicks somewhere on the web page, key up event when user starts typing using the keyboard etc. These events are generated by the browser window in which the web page is open. And JavaScript is capable of capturing these events and perform some actions like we just said. JavaScript makes a web page dynamic because using JS, we can update the content of the website without reloading the page. The structure of the web page can be changed without page reload or if we have to execute some logic like perform a mathematical operation or any other logic execution or anything else that can be done using JavaScript as well. So JavaScript makes a web page interactive and dynamic. To help you visualize what JavaScript does, let us take a few real world examples. When you are using Twitter, the web application automatically shows new tweets even without page reload. That is JavaScript in action. Similarly, when you search anything on Google, the moment you type a few characters, you start seeing suggestions. That is also JavaScript in action. Similarly, almost every website on the internet uses JavaScript or some dependent library or something or the other which is related to JavaScript. Understand it this way, HTML lays the foundation of a building. CSS is used to style the building. What you see in a building is CSS in action. Once the building is created, the JavaScript is used to make the building functional like lifts to take visitors to some floor or maybe CCTV capturing the footage, maybe electricity lighting up the building structure or fire sensor monitoring the building for fire. So HTML is the foundation of a web page. CSS makes sure how it looks and JavaScript makes it functional. Let's see a few more things that can be done using JavaScript when it comes to websites. The slide in slide out of HTML elements, general fade in and fade out, general appearance and disappearance of HTML elements that can be controlled by JavaScript. We can get data from some database and dynamically add it to the web page without page reload. We can do animations on the web page. We can validate form field values and show custom messages to the user. We can show pop-ups on the web page to show message to the user. And then there are other UI components like image slider or carousal that is also created using JavaScript. Although you can make it using just CSS too, but using JavaScript, it's easier to code. And the list goes on and on. Just like HTML and CSS, browser is responsible to understand and execute JavaScript code. And for that, it has a special JavaScript engine built inside it. This engine used by browsers to execute JavaScript code was converted into a standalone service a few years back, which is popularly known as Node.js. You must have heard of Node.js, right? Yes, Node.js is a runtime environment which is capable of executing JavaScript code. If you install it on your computer, you do not need a browser to run your JavaScript code. Before Node.js, JavaScript was only used for front-end development because it could be run only in a browser, like I've said a multiple times. But now, we can install Node.js on backend servers and execute JS code there too. Hence, JavaScript can be used for backend development too. To use JavaScript on your web page, you can either use a script tag, which is an HTML tag, and include the JS code inside the HTML file directly, or use the script tag to embed an external JavaScript file. The extension of the file in which we save the JavaScript code is .js. Many modern web frameworks are based on JavaScript, like React.js, AngularJS, Vue.js, Backbone.js, etc. The popularity of JavaScript is growing year by year and it was the most popular language of 2021 and it will continue to stay so in the coming years as well. If you want to learn JavaScript, you can start with Study Tonight's interactive course for JavaScript where you get to learn JavaScript while writing the code. I hope this video helps you understand what JavaScript is and why it's used 
and the whole picture of web application development where JavaScript fits in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it around with your friends. Do post in comments if you have any confusion and don't forget to subscribe to the Study Tonight channel. Thank you so much.